If you are a fan of Funko and collect the Funko Pops like we do, I know you've heard about the store opening up here in Hollywood. We did. We heard about all the figures you can get and all the photo ops I have inside, so let's go check it out. Here's a neat little setup that they have for Black Panther. Those things are massive. I told you those things are massive. Looks like the very first part that we're going to go into is Guardians of the Galaxy and Groot is welcoming us. As you're about to enter the Guardians of the Galaxy part of it, way above you, Trash Panda. Oh man, this is amazing. And check this out, over here in the corner, Star-Lord. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Holy cow. Talk about bad booty. Look at the size of Thanos. Does that make me a daughter of Thanos? I guess it kind of does make you a daughter of Thanos. There you go, kick some butt. Say what? They have a Harry Potter section? That's Hagrid. Dude, give me, your turn to go stand next to it. We all know Michael is tall. He's six foot two and now he's small like me. Standing next to Hagrid. Looks like Jessica made some friends. Harry, Ron, and Hermione sitting at the table. You're the small one. You're always the small one. Are you casting spells? Oh God. Look at this up here. Man, they have this place set out really, really cool. If you're a big Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them fan, you can meet Newt Scamander, but we all know we love the animals, so you can also meet a little baby Niffler. And this one's called a Pooper. Not a Pooper, a Pooper. But they have all of the animals. They have a superhero section. She's got a new movie coming out called Birds of Prey. Here's Harley Quinn. Bad booty. So I was blown away, and then Funko really blows me away. Look at this thing. It's a giant pirate ship. Well, a sunken ship. And right here in the bottom is one of Jessica's favorite Disney characters, Ariel, Little Mermaid. Cool as heck, right? They even have a setup here for one of my favorite Disney movies. Frozen. He's not big like the rest of the other Funkos, but they do have Marshmallow represented. And probably the coolest thing about this place, each scene that you walk into, they're selling the Funkos, but they also have these giant, giant dioramas. Display cases, if you will. There's Anna, way up there looking down over everybody who's buying her Funkos. You all know how we feel about villains. Jessica finally joins the ranks as the lead villain of them all, Queen Grimm. As my first order, I decree that all through the land, every day is Halloween. Come closer, come closer. And as my first order of Grimland, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you love villains, then they have everything you can imagine here, from makeup to purses. But what really caught my eye is this Funko skull. I want it. I wonder if they'll sell it. I want it. They have a Nightmare Before Christmas section. And right up here, larger than life, Jack and Zero. All right, Jessica. Go ahead and knock on the door and see if anything spooky happens. No. It don't move? It don't move. Oh, come on. I got excited. Right? Yeah. Talk about a missed opportunity. That's okay. It probably would, the door would be damaged eventually, I think, from people using all the time. This is wood. All right, 
to give you an idea, see Jessica to the left of the screen? This is how larger than life this place gets. It is massive, there's Sorcerer Mickey. We're entering the Disney section. Behind the castle, it just gets crazy. There's Goofy, and up here, in like a section straight out of the movie Aladdin, you have the characters of Aladdin. Mulan and Mushu way up there. And Donald Duck has his own little spot in the Crown Hotel. Check out this Jurassic Park setup they have with sexy gold bloom and a dinosaur. He's so cute. Look oh my. Face. You thought I was kidding about sexy gold bloom, but check him out. Yep. Sexy gold bloom. They even have a Game of Thrones exhibit here with a dragon that Jessica is riding. Now, come on, let's see the wind blow. Wind blown, wind blown, wind blown. And overlooking her, the Night King. Oh, so awesome. They even have Stranger Things. And you know what? I'm sorry, Eleven. That's the Stranger Elvis things. Deal with it. This is absolutely insane. Wow. Can we please take these home instead of just buying the Funkos? We almost missed this, but it says City of Derry, 1947. Ready for it? You ready? Oh, here it comes. It is Pennywise. It is Pennywise. It is Pennywise. Uh... All right, that's messed up. Well, I'll be darned. There is a giant spooky tree and a giant spooky gate. You know what that means? They have a horror section. Jessica, you look extra spooky in spooky places. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's my wife. It's a giant haunted house. Annabelle up in the window. Michael Myers on the right. Freddy Krueger on the left. Oh yeah. I'm at home. What am I saying? I am home. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jessica. I'm coming. What on earth? Elvira? And Slimer. And Slimer? Yeah. Bad booty, man. So bad booty. And in the center of the haunted house, they have a coffin filled with toys. Jessica, what are you doing? I'm doing Figures. Beetlejuice. That's cute. Just look at all of these horror Funkos. They have everything from Ghostbusters and the Lost Boys to Beetlejuice. They have a window here, sorry, a mirror. It's not interactive, it's time, but it's still spooky. Wait for it all. Oh. oh, that's cool. Is that the nun? Yeah. I didn't know that the first time I went up to it. I kind of jumped a little. Let's get a closer look at Freddy Krueger here. Man, that's cool. And over here is Michael Myers. Wow. You see him? That's right. Beetlejuice is coming next. On the side of the house, in the window, with her head spinning round, is Reagan from The Exorcist. That's cool, man. Like, seriously, that's cool. It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, I gave you the ghost with the most, Beetlejuice. And right next to him, in his own little shed, is your favorite camp killer, Jason Voorhees. Wait a second, why is the creature from the Black Lagoon way up there? He should be in water. Looks like we have stumbled upon the Star Wars section with giant stormtroopers and you can actually get inside for a photo opportunity. 
This is bad booty, man. Bad booty. Right outside the little storefront here. R2D2 and C3PO. Larger than life. I'm loving it. And you get to hang out inside the cantina. I told you these things are massive. Look at Jessica. Let's do a 360 or all the way around the room here. Crazy cool. These things are massive. And over here, right behind me, Boba Fett. What's going on, Boba Fett? And look at these little guys overlooking everybody. See what I mean about the toys being inside the actual displays here? Like how genius is that? Look at this. It's like he's a, he's, it's a market and he's selling this stuff to you. Check it out. They have a Doctor Who section. Now you know this place is awesome. I have found the section that for me is complete cuteness overload. It's called Wetmoreland Forest and they are creatures that are original creations from Funko directly. Basically, Jessica's obsessed with them because she's obsessed with all things cute. I mean, look at that. If she could, she'd take it home. And on the opposite side of the display, they have this crazy character. Not entirely sure what to call him, but... Wait a second, you found a bat? This one's a bat. Oh, he's cute. He looks like a bat. Bugsy Wingnut is his name. Let's get a closer look at him. That's his Funko. Oh, that's cute. He's it's not exactly a haunted house, but it is a haunted cereal. Characters. Care that. Yep. Something like that. There is cereal over here, though. Yep. Captain Crunch. It's like the epitome of Halloween. We have Frankenberry. Oh my. Now I'm hungry. Up there in the belfry, that is Count Chocula. And over here, that ghost guy. Boo. When I was growing up, I was absolutely obsessed with Captain Crunch. And then they came out with Captain Crunch peanut butter, and I was like, I'll be equally obsessed about you. And then I ate it a lot. Because peanut butter is awesome. Captain Crunch is awesome. What exactly is he a captain of? There's a giant section here for the Jetsons. That is amazing. That's like the epitome of my childhood right there. And they even have them breaking through a wall. They even have a section here devoted to Pac-Man and all of the ghosts. Welcome to Funko Hollywood. Oh, that takes me way back. MTV. Is that Buzz Lightyear I see flying way above everybody else? Of course it is. Check out this massive Toy Story section they got. A Funko Pop factory. Can you build your own? Can we build a Grim Life Funko Pop? Yes, my friends, you too can build your very own Funko Pop figurine in any way that you choose. All right, so it's a decision that I had to make, and I had to make it pretty much on the spur of the moment. There's really nothing spooky that you can get here, so I decided not to make a Funko. I'll buy them instead. And, of course, they have a Rick and Morty section. Yeah, you. This is cool. I don't know who you are, man, but you're cool. And it looks like in the center of everything, they have this really, really cool Dragon Ball Z display. And if you walk around them, there are three characters here in the center of the room. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not know the names of either of these folks. But that's okay, because it just is. Yeah, he looks like he's saying, it just is. Yeah, I don't know who you are either, but that's okay. All right, so I'm actually really glad that we did this. <laughs> right now we're standing inside the haunted house, which is probably our favorite. We could probably stay here all day. The all day. coffin full of sandworms is literally right behind us. What is your favorite part of Funko Hollywood? Oh gosh, that's really hard. Um, top three? Top three. Top three. Lay it on me. Okay, the horror section. One. Because I can't pick one. Fair enough. Um. Oh, this is so hard. Ah, 
Uh, Game of Thrones is really cool. All right. I know you're the dragon. The dragon writing the dragon is really what cool. did it. Um, Ariel's section was really, really awesome. Um, everything? Because I can't choose just a few. I'd have to say that my favorite was horror, mm -hmm. horror, mm -hmm. and horror. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking it right here in this room. Really glad we did this. So, you gotta go. Yeah. Funko Hollywood, thank you for doing this and opening it up. It's relatively new. Yeah, I think it's only been a couple months or mm -hmm. something-ish. So if you find yourself out in Hollywood, make sure you stop, buy some Funkos, get some awesome photos. Make sure you have some time. Yeah. Because we've been here about three hours. Yep. And Stephen I feel King. like we needed even more time to run around and play and look at everything and let it sink in. Pennywise. They have, they have everything. They don't have every single Funko ever made, but they have a lot of the most popular collection. So if you're looking for things that you couldn't get before, you probably can get it here. Wendy Torrance. The Shining. This is, this is Shining Light. This, this looks like whenever Jack Nicholson is sitting there at the, uh, the bar and it's like lit from underneath oh, him. Oh yeah, That's what this is. The Shining Light it's at lovely. Funko Hollywood. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 